Good afternoon. It is June 27th and started a new project. Um, this is going to be a solar thermal water heater. Uh, very simple concept of operation. <laughs> My supervisor she oversees all of my projects to make sure everything uh, stays tidy and to code it's got two uh, 50 foot industrial uh, insulated reinforced black rubber hoses going to and from the hot water tanks with uh, ball valve uh, T's basically so I can switch between the coil in the chimney pipe and this uh, I would like a little bit more help heating the water than just the dump load because well it never really gets it over 80 and whatever it's still kind of a, a chilly shower so on the outside here, I've got a hundred foot of hose. I'm gonna take the mylar from these two emergency blankets, lay it down on here uh, with uh, the edges overhanging. I'm not gonna trim that until I build my side walls. But I'm gonna get the mylar down first, silicone it down overlap it um, and then I'm going to snake this 100 foot of rubber hose up and down and try to get it all evenly spaced on here and I'm pretty close but still enough where the sun can hit all of it um, with the reflector underneath it so it'll amplify anything that you know the the sun is hitting in between um, and then I'm also going to build some side walls lower in the front. Probably, probably almost nothing, you know, like maybe an inch in the front. Uh, just enough to wrap my plastic over. Um, but then tapering up, up to four or five inches in the back. Five all the way across the back. Back down to one and one all the way across. And then I'm going to pull, I've got some 4 mil plastic, I'm going to stretch over the top of this and silicone that all down. I'll, uh, you know, wrap my sideboards with the mylar, then I'll trim it. <clears throat> and hopefully that'll kind of greenhouse effect this and really, really amplify the heat that's absorbed by this black rubber hose. And oh yeah, I could just simply circulate water through uh, this hose with it laying in the yard and yep that would warm water um, the incoming water would be probably 20 to 30 degrees warmer uh, than what's coming out so but I would really you know uh, on, on hard days I've said a couple times I'm a mason so I I bust my ass on bricks or rocks or blocks or you know whatever all day every day and then I'm a, I work through most of my weekends because you know we are essentially homesteaders here where we got projects uh, and different you know things geared for efficiency across this whole yard and it all needs to be maintained so um, so yeah long story short I like a hot shower kind of year-round or a hot bath to uh, soak my muscles uh, soak in some Epsom salt which is not a girly thing Epsom salt is just magnesium it makes your makes your muscles feel better no I don't throw any lavender in there but uh, it definitely helps with the muscles so yeah it's just a four by eight piece of plywood and uh, I'll get the mylar down and I'm gonna start coiling this hose up and I will be spacing 
these all and you know clamping them down get it all screwed down tight I got a lot of work to do here so I'm gonna get to it but I just thought I'd get a couple of minutes of this before it looks completely different so all right check back and I don't know probably an hour all right so the mile is down and figured I'd give a quick word of advice before I move on this stuff is kind of insane to work with in the Sun I had to move underneath my big wind blocking rain blocking sun blocking pine tree because uh, I was literally when I was on this side trying to smooth it out because I got a bunch of silicone under there the uh, reflection of the sun was I, I, I legitimately think I've got mild welders flash right now and uh, it was raising the temperature in my face like insanely it felt like I was sticking my head into a wood furnace kind of crazy so little tip uh, save yourself some grief if you're gonna work with fresh out of the package mylar uh, don't do it in direct Sun okay Moving on, I'm going to get some hose down. Alright, we're another hour down the line. Um, I started with my open ends. And I'm just going around the line and keeping it, you know, pretty evenly spaced all the way. And then I'll be able to move this around. Um, I'll pack this away for winter time, but I'll just keep running around and running around. Who knows, I might have room for a uh, another 50 footer, but kind of get the gist of what's going on here. The water will circulate all the way through this and back out, and it'll. I got a feeling this is going to work pretty darn good. So. I'll get the rest of this pinned down and uh, I'll get it dragged over. <laughs> well, there it is. It's hooked up. Um, that shadow is going to move over this pretty soon. So today's not going to be a good testing day, unfortunately. Um, but. You know, we got some spotty clouds also, so we're not blaring sun like it could be. But holy smokes, is that mylar something else? And uh, yeah, save your money from getting really anything else. Just the cheapo emergency blankets from the hardware store, or, you know, whatever your sporting goods aisle. Uh, it's all it's all the same stuff it's all mylar it works awesome absolutely amazing how reflective that is right out of the package um oh i want to get this covered up before you know before i cut the grass the next time and or it gets rained on because you know it can get spotty and start to flake off and stuff so if i get it covered up it'll stay clean um clean and shiny but there it is we can go peek in the basement and see if we uh can observe a temperature difference from going in and out i got the hose running right in there and then that goes all the way to the other side of the basement and the tanks are down there let's check it out and here we are so I made another huge mess <laughs> water running all the way across the basement uh, bleeding this system out but it's necessary um, if there is air in the system the pump will not circulate and you'll burn your pump out so it's very necessary to bleed from the bottom and the top 
Uh, this is the highest point in the system. Uh, this is the one that goes up to faucets and a shower and so on. This is the one that feeds it. Um, this line is going out. And I can feel that that one is quite a bit colder than the other line. This is the line coming back in. So the pump pulls from the top of this tank, pushes down the bottom of that tank, and the pressure feeds the water. And see, I'm selectable here. I can flip this switch and flip this one, and then it'll run through my copper coil that's in the furnace, wood furnace chimney. Um, and that comes back down to the same point that our black hose comes from. And those both feed in to the bottom of the little tank, heats up the little tank first, hottest water in the little tank gets pushed into big tank, heats that one from the bottom up. So we'll see how this works. It's only been circulating for a few minutes and everything is wet. Um, let's see if we can measure a difference here. We got 68 degrees on the water going outside. No? It's a, that's a difference, you know? And that's late afternoon sun with uh, spotty clouds so I think if I get five six hours of sun on that loop uh, we'll see a pretty drastic temperature difference and then the DC element from the dump load that starts to kick on about 10 30 11 when the batteries are full and it's been kicking on and off that just kicked on kicks on when the batteries get to 29.2 uh, where did I change it ah I reset it higher well I'm going to reprogram that so it uh, kicks on a little lower. 29.2 is where I want that to kick on and kick back off at 26.8. Um, so when it finally stops engaging and disengaging, the incoming solar will just float the batteries up to... Uh, Full the rest of the way. Wind. Not blowing today. Nothing. We don't get much from wind in the summertime. It's pretty much 99% solar. Uh, far and few between. Does, uh, does the turbines pick up? <clears throat> but that's uh, the system. And... Yeah, that's where the hoses go out. They run all the way across. I'm gonna, I got some foam insulation. I'm gonna insulate these all the way across because the basement stays pretty cool. And there's about 80 feet of this hose down here. So that's going to try and cool it off just as fast as the solar loop can heat it up. So. If I insulate that, it'll hang on to temperature a heck of a lot better, and I'll probably see uh, better increases. It feels like it's getting warmer. Yeah. It's trying to get up to 71. Let's see what the pump is. Uh, the 
tank is still pretty cold. To bleed this, I had to drain a lot of water, so I pulled a lot of cold water in. So, I guess we'll see tomorrow when the sun comes out what it does. But, there it is. I'll report back when I have some positive results.